Shalom Chavarim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live here. Uh, the State Department releasing footage here about uh, in Paris where the Secretary of State Rex Tillerson uh, has been meeting with their partners over there in regards to the chemical weapons uh, that have been used in Syria. And of course, Russia still being the main one that is being blamed for the chemical weapon use there, although the evidence clearly shows that it is uh, the B uh, moderate backed rebels, as they're so called, or al Nusra, al Qaeda, that were the ones that actually used chemical weapons in the country. Nonetheless, it is the Syrian government and Russia that is being blamed for this chemical weapons. And uh, there's a lot of push now with Rex Tillerson on trying to really bring uh, justice to this chemical weapons attack and yet holding Russia completely responsible for that attack, something that Russia has absolutely, there's no evidence whatsoever that supports Russia's involvement of this chemical weapons attack, just absolutely to the opposite of that. Uh, if, in fact, if anything, there's more evidence that suggests that there have been NATO members that have been involved for the chemical weapons attack there that happened in Syria. Uh, moving on over into other news as well, Turkey to the U.S. troops in Syria, please move so we can attack your Kurdish allies. This is according to Vice News. I thought it was a very interesting title there. And of course, in the article here, uh, it's very interesting because Lieutenant General Kenneth Frank, he doesn't know whether or not the U.S. is going to stay there or whether the U.S. is actually going to move out of the way so that Turkey can attack the Kurds that are inside of Syria. You know, the thing is, though, if the U.S. moves out of the way and allows Turkey just to genocide the, to the Kurds inside of Syria, that will speak a lot, in my opinion, of U.S. officials and them allowing this, uh, this small band of fighters that have been so successful against ISIS. I think it'll speak volumes, but then again, it'll also speak volumes of just how much authority and power President Erdogan has gained in his uh, quest for a revived Ottoman Empire. Very troubling indeed. Brett Barton is also reporting number of asylum seekers are war criminals discovered in Sweden doubles in two years. Boy, Sweden is really just becoming the... Uh, the big name for everything when it comes to this uh, crisis over uh, the refugees that come from Syria and, of course, all the crimes that are happening. We've gotten more information coming in. When we return to Europe, we'll be trying to do some more interviews going on. Germany also facing a major upheaval in the crimes against, especially against women, uh, in their country as well due to the refugee crisis that uh, the media is turning a blind eye and government's definitely turning a blind eye too. I'm Stephen Benoon with a quick take of our broadcast, Erev Tov.